9 things to do if you suspect your partner is cheating on you. Do you have a persistent feeling that your partner may be betraying you? This step-by-step -step guide will help you confront your significant other and understand what's happening in your relationship. You have a sinking feeling that your partner is cheating, and suddenly, it feels like your entire life has changed in an instant. One moment, you believe your future is set, and the next, you're questioning everything. A flood of thoughts surfaces, how long has this been happening? Who is the other person involved? What should you do now? You're likely experiencing a whirlwind of emotions, including shock, grief, anxiety, embarrassment, jealousy, and rage, which are common reactions noted in a February 2023 study on infidelity. It's a gut punch that leaves you feeling paralyzed, unsure of how to cope. To help, we consulted a few therapists. If you suspect your partner is cheating, I recommend finding a good therapist, developing a self-care plan, enlisting social support, and then confronting your partner, in that order. Here are 9 steps you can take to feel supported and stable as you navigate what's happening in your relationship and decide whether to work through the affair, if one has occurred, or move on. 1. Enlist the help of a therapist. Even before confirming if your partner is cheating, having suspicions is a red flag. It indicates a lack of security in the relationship and suggests the need for support from a neutral third party. A good therapist can provide the support and tools necessary to discuss these concerns directly with your partner, identify and grieve what might be wrong in the relationship, address these issues, and help you develop a self-care plan. 2. Regulate your nervous system. Cheating can trigger the autonomic nervous system, putting you into a fight-or-flight state. This makes it challenging to stay emotionally regulated and solve complex problems with advanced reasoning skills. In other words, it's not the best mindset for initiating a difficult conversation. Self-care is crucial because it helps you cope with the anger, shock, and anxiety both partners may experience. Exercise and healthy eating can help regulate the nervous system. 3. Reach out to your loved ones for support. Now is a good time to reach out to your support network. You'll need loved ones you trust to rally around you during this difficult time, as noted in a January 2022 study. Enlisting support doesn't mean you have to tell everyone about your suspicions before talking to your partner. Instead, it means ensuring you have social support from peers and supportive individuals you can confide in if necessary. 4. Calmly confront your partner about your suspicions. Before jumping to conclusions, give your partner a chance to explain. Approaching the conversation aggressively could lead to a heated argument. Instead, write down your concerns and approach the discussion with observation and curiosity. Since you don't know for sure if they are cheating, the confrontation should be focused on understanding what is truly happening. 5. Focus on the facts without blaming. Calmly start the conversation by sharing your observations. For instance, you could say, I've noticed you get upset when I look at your phone and quickly take it away. Is there something I should know? Approach the situation with curiosity rather than judgment or blame. This softer approach creates a safe space, encouraging your partner to be honest. If they choose to open up, you can then have a deeper discussion about the next steps. 6. Allow yourself to feel and name your emotions. Depending on your partner's response, emotions might run high. Give yourself grace, as it's natural to feel overwhelmed after such a revelation. 
If you need a moment to breathe, take it. Allow yourself to experience and name your emotions without berating your partner. For instance, say, I'm so angry, I'm in disbelief. If your partner denies cheating but you suspect they're lying, trust your instincts and take time to process your feelings. Consider staying with a friend or relative temporarily to give yourself space. 7. Ask your partner why they cheated. If cheating did occur, the primary question people often have is about the motive. There are many reasons someone might cheat, and it's usually not intended to hurt their partner maliciously, but rather because something is missing in their life. To gain clarity, ask your partner these questions, understanding that the answers may be painful, what did the cheating mean to you? Was it just sex or something more? Were you actively seeking it, or did it just happen? Was it related to unmet needs? Do you feel guilt or shame? Can you understand my hurt? 8. Decide whether you want to work it out. Once everything is out in the open, it's time to decide what comes next. According to research published in April 2021, infidelity is the second most challenging issue to address in therapy, following domestic abuse. However, if both you and your partner are committed to working through it, there is hope. Cheating can either be a wake-up call or lead to a breakup. A therapist can provide a safe, non-judgmental space for both partners to understand what happened and work towards healing the relationship. 9. Continue on your self-care journey. Whether you choose to remain in the relationship or move on, educating yourself about infidelity can provide comfort by reducing feelings of isolation. Taking care of yourself and replenishing your own resources will help you feel more grounded and stable. Developing a self-care plan can assist you in identifying areas where you may need more support in your life. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.